Ministry on the Margins is a totally volunteer ecumenical group of people committed to helping those who fall through the cracks during times of transition. Most important transition that we really focus on is prison re-entering into society. Seven years ago, I got one of those ideas that always kind of tickle in the back of your mind, and I did it, and I picked up the phone, and I called the state penitentiary, and I asked if there was anything that I could do there. And he said yes. I thought, shoot, and I went. And as I walked down that first night to have a Bible study, walking down the hallway, I was scared, I was anxious, I was wondering who these people were. And somebody called out and said, hey, hey, Sister Kay. And it was a young man who had been a third grade student of mine. And as I went further, someone called out to me again and said, Sister Kathleen, I haven't seen you forever. And it was somebody whose dad had been a colleague of mine at the University of Mary. And then when we were in a prayer session, we turned at the sign of peace. Someone asked me about my niece. And it was a guy that my niece had dated in high school here in Bismarck. And when I walked out that night, I mean, my life had changed. Because there was no longer a we, they, me coming in to take care of them. But we were just all we. So imagine what it would be like if right now you had to make this switch from 20, 25 decisions a day to 1,000 to 2,000, which is what the normal person does. And you had to do it without support of housing. And you had to do it possibly without support of family in a city that you've never been in until you were brought into the walls of the prison. Imagine what that day felt like. One of the big questions that each of us have to ask ourselves is the question that we label people who have been incarcerated with. I am a felon. I apply for a job. I introduce myself. I'm identified by that. And so I always ask, how would you like to be identified for the rest of your life by your one worst action? Incarceration is a short time of life. Most of the people are 20-year-old men who are part of our community, are incarcerated, and then re-enter back into our community for the next 60 years of their life. So rather than looking at a sentence as a lifetime event and now you're going to be a felon for the rest of your life, I wish people would know that these are members of our community that have stepped out for a while of corrections, rehabilitation, and are coming back and that we just embrace them both ways.